Hi, I'm Anthony Samarco and I'm the author of Lost Boston. Today we're standing on Beacon Street, the old mill dam that connected Boston and Brookline. In the early part of the 19th century, you had to realize that Boston, which was an 800 acre peninsula, was actually only connected to the mainland at what was called the Neck, that area of what is present day Washington Street in Boston South End that connected Boston to Roxbury. But during the period of the early 19th century, people wanted a second land route. And the concept was that they would actually build a mill dam that would connect what is today Charles Street to what is today Kenmore Square in what was basically a mill dam or a dam that dammed the Charles River. Today, what we know of as the flat of Beacon Hill, that area that's between Charles Street and what is today the Embankment Road, is a great example in some ways of filled land, much of that land having come from the cutting down of Beacon Hill. But we also saw the 24-acre Boston Public Garden being developed and opened in 1837. Again, that was reclaimed from the marshes of the Back Bay. The infilling itself was complete and a horticultural garden was opened. Beginning in the early 1840s and the 1850s, the south end of Boston was actually begun to be infilled. And because they were so successful in the infilling of this and creating new man-made land that could be developed not just for residential, but ecclesiastical and institutional development, they envisioned the Back Bay as something that could also be actually created. The marshes of the Back Bay were over 550 acres and it went from what is today Arlington Street all the way to Muddy River, which actually divided Boston and Brookline. Because the mill dam had dammed the Charles River and there was no longer a tidal flow on a daily basis, the marshes of the Back Bay began to stagnate. And by stagnating, it was not only something that became a public health menace, but it actually had a terrible aroma, which was called a noxious effluvia. And by the period of 1859, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts had hired a man by the name of John Souther. Souther had made his claim to fame in the sugar plantations of Cuba, but he actually owned the Globe Locomotive Works, which was located in South Boston. And during that period of time, he invented what was called the Souther Steam Shovel. It not only dredged the Back Bay marshes, but it was also to dredge the hills of Needham, Massachusetts. For the Commonwealth acquired over 12 acres of rocky hills in the area of what is today Gould Street in Needham, which would actually be leveled with the soil being brought to the Back Bay 24 hours a day, six days a week by gondola cars. But in that instance, it brought soil that would be then dumped on a spring action into the marshes of the Back Bay. But it was something you had to realize that the area itself was owned by three different entities. It wasn't just the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, but it was also the city of Boston and the city of Roxbury. By the period of the 1860s, the new envisioned neighborhood known as Boston's Back Bay would be something that went west from Arlington Street through Berkeley Street, Clarendon, Dartmouth, Exeter, Fairfield, Gloucester, Hereford, and eventually Massachusetts Avenue. And this was the premier planned, man-made neighborhood of Boston. It was a quintessential Victorian neighborhood of New England, but it was something in some ways with architects and city designers that created one of the most cohesive units of residential development in the mid to late 19th century. During that period of time, one had to realize that the Back Bay itself, which not just had architect-designed row houses, but also some of the most impressive churches in the entire Boston area, as well as new institutions that went the gamut from the Natural History Museum, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the Museum of Fine Arts, the Boston Public Library, and a plethora of other buildings that actually defined what basically was Victorian Boston. Mm -hmm.